So modern approach to treating infertility, treating or to achieving pregnancy often bypasses things. So as a, as a, a classic example, women will often be offered intrauterine insemination or IUI. That is where the sperm from the seminal fluid from the man is collected often through or by masturbation, which is not acceptable to a lot of people. It's collected, it's kind of washed out and, and then put into a catheter. And the catheter is used to deposit the seminal fluid beyond the cervix into the uterus. So that is some admission or acknowledgement that cervical factor exists, cervical mucus matters, but they're going to bypass it and deposit the sperm into the uterus. If that doesn't work after a few times, then they'll be offered IVF or in vitro fertilization, which is basically to try to make a baby in a test tube and put it back into the womb of the mother. So really that's trying to bypass the couple altogether to try to achieve pregnancy. So, so again, modern treatments kind of bypass different factors or bypass the couple altogether to try to achieve pregnancy. Another approach would be to try to stay focused on trying to find all the underlying problems to address and fix those problems to try to get pregnant together as a couple without bypassing the couple. That's sort of the fundamental difference between the restorative fertility clinic or NAPRO technology and IVF or artificial reproductive technologies.